go, guys. I might actually have this guy, whatever he is. Yep. I believe this is a hybrid. I believe it is a hybrid. That's exactly what it is. Not the target species. Taken though. There you go. Hi, I'm Mark. I'd like to welcome you to Whisker Pig Fishing. We're on Clark's Hill today. We have to catfish. But there's a lot of hybrids up in this area right here. This is what we got to start the day with, not what we're after. We thank you much. We appreciate you, sir. Yes, yeah, let's see what Clark's Hill has for us today. Big old hog, baby. Big old hog, baby. Nice looking little blue. They just cut some water on somewhere. I've been sitting here for a few minutes and we really ain't seen a whole lot of nothing. Mm -hmm. Alright. This fish right here come out of I'd say foot of water, maybe two. He'll give up. We'll get him up in here. I think that one's on a piece of white perch there. It could be bluegill. That's all. all right, dude, come on. Might be a big old channel kit. Old his tail looking kind of deep, eh? Nice little blue. I think it was a channel cat to start with. I believe it's blue though. Get the grippers and we'll clip him up and see what he looks like. Definitely a blue dog. Definitely a blue dog. 
Good little fish to start the day. Here we go. We got another one going right here. Let's see if we can get this dude hooked up. Ah, ah we didn't get the line tight on him. Didn't get him tightened up, man. I'm gonna throw this guy right back in that bush over there. Yeah, he just swam off of that thing. I never got it tied on him. We thank you, sir. We appreciate your business there, man. Come back to see us. Yeah, I just cut some water on or something. We had some current start to flow there, and now it looks like it's about to quit on us. I don't know what was going on. Ah, it's starting to go backwards. They run into dam. We're not too far away from the dam here. So they've cut the water on at the dam. Let's see what that's going to do. The creek's going backwards. There we go, son. <clears throat> I know what it's gonna do. It's gonna make things start to get to popping and snapping here. Come on, man. Yeah, these fish is probably been in here. We just ain't been by a bite off of them, man. I ain't been able to buy a bite off of them. That's three hits in five minutes right there. Another fish about the same size. No, not quite so big. And I do for sure believe this one is a channel cat. Right, Let's see what we can do with this guy. We could, we could flip this fish, but it's awful high to get them up out of the water in this boat. Ah, right, there we go. Well, he likes the net. Yep, we got some current going. Got it. Bite started going the same time. I'm looking at these teeth marks on this fish. They're starting to bite on each other. There's some flatheads up in there, I'm sure, that ate this guy. But thank you, sir. Appreciate your business. Come back and see us. I'm going to throw these baits right back out here. Let's see what's going on. They right on these little bushes on this side, and we got one bite right up in the woods. Everything that I got casted right here is casted right up in the woods. Yeah, folks, what happened a while ago was that they released water at the dam. We're probably five miles below the dam. They released that water and as that surge of water comes down, it's like a tidal wave. And the first thing that happened was we got a real strong current to flow out of this creek. We're sitting up in the back of a creek. We had a real strong current flowed out of it and then it stopped and come back in the other way and it's flowed really hard and now it's done settled out and the creek's starting to flow back down. And then that surge, when it did that, we caught we got three bites right there in probably two minutes or so. Hooked two of them up and one of them I never got the line tied on, but that, that's something to keep in mind. If you're fishing below a hydroelectric project, we in, we on the Savannah River chain and you just got damn lake, damn lake, damn lake, and we sitting right below one of those dams. If, if you think about it, when you can call and get the generation schedule, if you'll do that, you can get into position, and it took about probably 20 minutes for that surge to get down this far. You can get into position, and if you got a spot you know holds really big fish, it'd be a good idea to be sitting on that, because even in deeper water, you're gonna get that push, and then as the water, as the pressure recedes, it'll pull back, and then things go back to normal. We saw that real quick flurry, and then it's, it's done shut down right here. 
we know we sit, I know I'm sitting in fish. There's no doubt about it. I am sitting in fish, but you just got to get them to bite, man. It's a big difference between fish and biting fish. Here we go, guys. Ah, we can get him, man. That sucker show took off with it. It's a giant boy on the water over there. I'm just gonna leave it there. Let him get about five, six, seven minutes, see if he'll take it on down here. Should have cooked that fish, man. I don't know why we didn't hook that one up. It was definitely a fish, cause it's a big old boil on the water over there. Look at that, guys. There's an eagle just flew and landed right there. Bald eagle, he just flew right over there and sat down and landed. Good guy. Gonna get this dude out of this bush here. Got him out. channel really right, I'm gonna jump over you here yeah. try to get this where I jump let's see can we get him up here I'm gonna try to flip this guy Try to flip and get my thumb off the bar while I'm trying to engage it. We might do something with him. All right, let's see if we can get him up in here. There we go. You know that dude was mean. No bigger than that. He pulled that rod like that. I was up there trying to figure out what happened to my anchor. I had it clipped on the rope and it unclipped. Gone. Too deep to get it. If it's a little warmer, I'd go in there and get it. But it ain't. And there's our channel cat. Not a bad little fish, but he ain't what we hunting for. We thank you, sir. We appreciate it. That's two bites right here in just a minute here. I'm going to load it back up and I'm going I'm to throw. What we fishing is on the edge of these, edge of these trees right here. That, that one was right there beside that bush. So I'm gonna take some of these rods we got thrown across the middle out here and lay them up in them willows. Yeah, I know there's some bigger fish out here. We just got to figure out what they're doing, what they're biting. So far, every bite we've got has been on white perch. Just little strips of white perch. Here we go, folks. Oh yeah, got him hooked up. That sucker just rolling over and over. These fish are on the front of these weeds, man, on the front of these willows. Put some pressure on this guy to get him out of them towel lines right there. 
Ah, yeah. On them holy roller channel cats. Roller, roller, roller. Come on, baby. Be, don't beat yourself on down. I don't want to just lift you up in here. Come on up in here. There we go. I think he's trying to invite himself to the cookout. Come on up in here, big man. Ah. That looks like a channel. It might be a white cat, though. I don't know exactly how to tell them apart, but hang on. Hang on. Chill out before you get wallowing around with that hook right there. Yeah, they told me that this fish that's got these bumps on them are white catfish most of the time. Could be a parasite, I don't know. But we'll take it as a fish. All right, brother, we thank you, sir. We appreciate it. Yeah, I'm sitting here tying leaders. These fish are so shallow that I keep, um, my floats keep coming up out of the water right here. They, they two feet probably. So we're gonna tie some Carolina rigs. Here we go, guys. There he is, man. That sucker tearing up some crap out there. Check that out. This dude's up on top, just making a mess back there. Up on top, just making a mess, I John. I'm trying to catch up with him. I think he come off, man. Oh, there he goes. Let me get him out of this board here. Huh? Man, sure is nice to be in a longer boat. Keep the line tight on him a whole lot better. Hooked in here with him now. Let's see can I get you moved over here. That dude's still fighting, man. He ain't even playing a little bit. All right, let me get the whole work out here. When that guy was, that dude was cutting up, wasn't he? Big dog, come on up in here. Keep messing around, you're gonna run us up on the bank, man. Yeah, trying to let these fish by yourself is always interesting. Not to mention we're about to run up on the bank here. Come on, dude. Come on. Let's pull him up in front of the net. We might have him there. Nope. 
There we go. Let me get a boat. We're about to have serious problems. Won't do turn. Whoo, Lord. All right, come on in, friend. fish man nice big old fat dude there we go that's a pretty guy there y'all check him out i'll give you those data show <laughs> that's a pretty fish man thank you lord there we go one last look we're gonna send him back to life back home we appreciate you sir Thank you and come again. And that's some good stuff. I don't care who you are. I'm gonna try to get everything straightened back out. We got a mess right here. I was I didn't never got the boards out just then. Whoo Lord. Here we go, guys. Just a little bit of untangling. It's 
and you look forward about that now and send it to work. And we left with a nice fish laying here in the floor. That's a nice one there, man. Right through the corner of the mouth. Back down. All right, guys, we're gonna drop this dude back over in here. Everybody in the boat is gonna ride out of this creek right now, too. We appreciate you, sir. It's a good one. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you coming. Yeah, it's not a bad one, not our best one today, but it's a nice fish. Yeah, guys, and after we get that hooked up, I'm just gonna check our line. Feel pretty good. We clip our weight back on here. And we clip our little rig right here back on there. And to do that, you just take this thing, put it in right there. Pull it up and click it. It's got it. I haven't lost a fish. Hadn't had one come unhooked or anything yet. It's it's smooth, man, when you go to get them all hooked up and tangled up in the net like that and you just unhook the leader out of it. Or if you get them tangled together, it's a good thing. Well, guys, that's going to do us today, man. We had a pretty good day. Caught some, caught a hybrid early this morning. Caught some other fish in the back of a creek and then we caught some out here pulling a little deeper. I'd like to thank you for joining me here on Whisker Pig Fishing. Check us out at Facebook and Instagram at Whisker Pig Fishing. And as always, you guys have a great day. And God bless.